Earlier you talked about copying, and I think, when was it, was it last year? There was a big controversy around like Virgil Abloh and his Louis Vuitton collection, I think. Um, so what are your general opinions? Because now it's amazing that I'm asking you this question because it's sort of died down. You probably had a longer time to think about whatever the situation was. So what are your thoughts on that? Oh, that's something I don't want to talk about. Yeah. Because I, I reacted on it rather clearly. Yeah. But I was really also told to fuck off. <laughs> yeah. So, what oh, wow. can you do? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, in these situations, you really feel the overpowering situation of these huge houses. They just can can do like this and, yeah. and crash everything <laughs> they want, and they also do that. Yeah, and I've and, seen many examples where big yeah, houses do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 and um, and that's. I mean, what I don't like about the fashion world today, you're uh, in the middle of wolves and uh, we hope to survive and you hope to don't be, be, yeah. be uh, chased by a wolf, but I mean, it happens without yeah. asking. Huh? And, uh, and then you come in situations which you really, which I hate and which I don't like. And, um, and I think it's a little bit of shame. Yeah. It's a shame. You should be ashamed. Yeah. yeah. Well, I. It's kind of interesting because, yeah, even now there's so many stories and now, I'm not sure how aware you are, but on Instagram and social media, there's all this like call-out culture of like really big companies who take the work of um, up-and-coming designers, especially with like fast fashion companies where, mm -hmm. I don't know, Glenn Martins can make a collection and then within a week it's in all the Zara stores. Yeah. How bad do you think that is for fashion as a whole? I think it's a pity because Exactly what we're talking about, fast fashion, they have a lot of money. Yeah. These big things, they have a lot of money, they gain a lot of money. And, and I think that they should have the possibility and also the intelligi intelligence to really put a good designer there and do their own collections. And because now they're, they're just copying because that seems to be the easiest thing. But I can, I, I don't think that if somebody like Glenn Martins would design something for them, they would also sell it. Right. And then it would be an original product. And uh, I think with, with, uh, on one side, of course, you have the basics and you have the commercial pieces. But if you want to do something more fashionable, get a good, uh, few young, good designers and let them design. And of course, they're going to feel also what is hanging in the air. <laughs> but at least they're not going to make identical copies. Yeah. And, um, and, and you see also the success from these collaborations where these companies are doing, like Asha Nem is doing. Yeah. And I, I believe that they would want to do it, they don't have to copy. Yeah, it's... I don't know, it's weird because it's like, with designers, it's so easy for a company that makes billions of dollars to just... Okay, instead of copying your work, we'll just bring you on board to yeah. design it. Everyone wins, the yeah. designer gets compensated yes. for something they created. The house, the big company doesn't really lose money because they have yeah, so much money anyway. I don't, I don't know why fashion just doesn't function like that. I would have loved to work together with Virgil yeah. and Louis Vuitton. Yeah. I mean... I just, I don't understand why that doesn't happen. Yeah. I don't know because they think that copying is the easiest way or the, the most effective. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's... I feel like, okay, to me personally, I'll just say me personally, I feel like a lot of designers want to be like respected as you know really good creative designers, for mm -hmm. example. And there are crazy directors that I know of at big houses that just almost like copy what has happened in the past within the house and don't have their own sort of design language type of thing. And I don't know how to combat that because it's like I almost think sort of the craft and the art of fashion has been a bit lost over the years and now there yeah. are many designers who don't even craft clothing. Yeah, 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 but that's exactly where we focus on in the school here. Eh? So this, this uh, focus on design, on craft, on, on, on your own language, that's what we think is extremely important. And uh, I think that will also, at the end, uh, will let survive yeah. fashion. Yeah. And that's why I, I keep on believing in fashion also. I don't, don't like fashion because of 
the, in the overproductions and, and the, the industry, and, the industry and the identical pieces that you see all yeah. over the world <laughs> and then the fast fashion. That's not what I like about fashion. I like the, the personal statements, the, 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 the small productions, the original pieces, which are for the moment also uh, people are searching for this. Eh? They love to buy a piece which is made in a small quantity, which has personality, which is not a, an, an industrial product which you can find everywhere. The people are searching yeah. for this. Thing.